The Hope Center of the Wyoming Valley is a nonprofit free clinic founded in 2004. Formerly on the grounds of Back Mountain Harvest Assembly of God in Trucksville, the Hope Center is now located in downtown Luzerne, Pennsylvania. Our clinic provides a wide variety of services, all at no cost. Take a look. The Hope Center um, actually started in February of 2004 at the Back Mountain Harvest Assembly Church. We started with three volunteers, myself, a uh, woman Suzanne, and a Dr. Cisneros. And we did medical only, and we did so for about a year, year and a half. And then God, as God would have it, he brought a fourth to us, uh, nurses, and we started to get busier and busier seeing uninsured and underinsured people. And then we got lawyers to come and help us. We got an eye doctor to come and help us. We got a chiropractor to come and help us, an audiologist. And we increasingly were blessed with volunteers. Um, and God brought everybody to the door. We never had to recruit a soul. And that's a fact, and that I can give you testimony after testimony. People, God spoke to the hearts of these people and they just knocked on our door and wanted to volunteer. To the point where now we are in a 10,000 square foot building with some 55, 60 volunteers and uh, we see thousands of patients every year with the similar services that we did before. And uh, throughout the whole time of our existence, we've been blessed by, the, by God to never run out of money or run out of space or run out of time. He, he saw to our every need. And so we stand firmly in our faith in God and His partnership with us in this, in this mission. Here's a brief description of what we offer. On Monday nights from 6 to 8 p.m., we offer no-cost medical care, dental care, which includes cleanings and extractions, legal counseling, and pastoral care. On Thursday nights from 6 to 8 p.m., we offer medical care, chiropractic care, vision care, and pastoral care. With the exception of pastoral counseling, our services are specifically offered to those who are uninsured or underinsured. If you have any questions as to whether you qualify, please feel free to contact us anytime. For dental or vision care, please call ahead of time to schedule. These services are by appointment only. The phone numbers are on the screen. No dinner? No problem. On Monday and Thursday nights, we offer free homemade dinners, snacks, and beverages in our community room. Also, on Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m., Freedom Hill Church hosts weekly Bible studies and potluck dinners. Contact Pastor Pat Holiday for more information. For those interested in fellowshipping with other men and women of faith, the Hope Center hosts weekly Bible studies for men and one-day women's conferences for ladies. Be sure to like our Facebook page to keep up to date on these and various other events and outreaches for both men and women hosted at the Hope Center. If you are interested in volunteering at the Hope Center, we have a wide variety of ways to serve. These include reception, physicians, nurses, dentists and dental assistants, meal preparers and more. Uh, my husband initially uh, was working with Ron Hillard um, to bring about this project to help the people who were underinsured or uninsured and homeless people uh, to service just the people in any way we could. Anyway, um, my husband, Gary Vincelli, uh, became ill and uh, he asked me to go to the uh, board meeting for him. And I said, why am I going? I don't know anything about this. And he said, you go and represent me. So then after that, I started doing some of the typing for the Hope Center. I brochures and forms and my heart just came to uh, love what I was doing because it was a worthy cause, helping people who are definitely in need. Um, I've been here probably 12 plus years, and it's really been a blessing for me. Probably more a blessing for me than it is to them. Well, my husband came to a meeting here. Um, 
it was like a Sunday prayer meeting and a speaker, and he knows Ron, he went to high school with him, so Ron mentioned the fact that he needs nurses to volunteer. And I just happened to be a nurse for 40 years and just recently retired, so I'm looking, I was looking for something to do. And I thought, this would be great, so, you know, a little bit per diem, which is fine, but um, once you're a nurse, you're always a nurse. And it's hard to not be a helpful, helpful person to other people. So. Give us a call, send a message on Facebook, or stop by on a Monday or Thursday evening to learn more about our volunteer opportunities. Um, I've been a hospice nurse for over 10 years, and many, many years ago, I had a patient and um, she, was, she was on hospice, she didn't have long to go, but we used to do visits and sit in her garden. And she had beautiful flowers. And I said to her, those are my favorite flowers and they're morning glories. And she said, well, what you do is when the morning glory dies, when the flower dies, you take the seeds out through the winter, you plant them the next year, and then you pass them on so that other people can enjoy them. And she said, it's kind of the same thing like kindness. You use what you need and you pass it on. So I've passed on these morning glory seeds and kindness. They've made it to Texas, they've made it to Louisiana, Delaware, New Jersey, and I gave some recently to one of the girls here, the volunteers. So um, the moral is kindness is free. Seeds are free, you pass them on and it comes back to you tenfold, and that's why I volunteer. As mentioned, we are a not-for-profit organization, and if you wish to donate, please contact our director for more information. We also accept donations in the form of new or gently used medical equipment. This may include canes, wheelchairs, walkers, chairlifts, feeding apparatuses, wound care, dental equipment, and more. Anything donated goes a long way and is a blessing to those in need. Uh, we, our goal is to open five days a week, provide different social services, also have uh, a, a, a cooperation with a local university to provide health care and social services and uh, try to fill the needs of, of people in the daytime as well. For people that can't get here at night, it will be good to way that we can utilize the location. One of the reasons why we picked this location is the fact that it's not a bus route and so people that use the bus can utilize, utilize our building. As our director, Ron Hillard, said, ultimately our mission is to provide hope for the community through the services we offer, with Christ at the center of all we do. Please keep up to date with all of our happenings by liking our Facebook page, The Hope Center of the Wyoming Valley, by contacting us by phone using the numbers on the screen, or by simply stopping by for a visit. Thanks for watching. Please spread the word and God bless.